Okay, let's get back to the uh, model that we had in the AmSoft. And uh, first thing we want to do is we want to put this SMA connectors right back in the edge of the PCB. Uh, before I do that, I noticed that the PCB is uh, not correctly named and it's called box one. So let's go ahead and double click on the box one and open the property windows and under the name uh, add, uh, attribute uh, we want to go ahead and change the name to at the PCB. There we go. So now we have the PC board with FR4 uh, epoxy um, and the rest is the same. Okay, that's good. Press OK on that. Now we want to use one of the features of the modeler, which is the measuring um, basically feature. So in the measuring feature, uh, you want to know how much you want to, for example, let's say right now, I'm going to see how much I want to move uh, this model that I have. Let me put this this way so you can, okay. So let's say I'm going to move this guy and I don't know how much I have to move it. Um, one way is to measure it and then you move it. The second way is using the snap. Uh, I'm going to go first with the snap and then I will go with the measurement. So first of all, select your device uh, or whatever uh, thing that you want to move it. Um, right now I can select it in a way that is only select that. And if you're selecting something else, you just press shift, uh, sorry, you just press and hold control key and then click on the, on the part that is already highlighted. It will uh, basically turn back to normal and not select it. So uh, now that I select uh, this part, I can go ahead and select move. And uh, I'm pressing alt key in order to be able to rotate. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and define the edge that I want to uh, be next to the end of the uh, board. So as you can see, a triangular a snap symbol, the green triangular on the tip of my mouse, it means that I am right now on the edge. I'm in the middle of the uh, vertex of um, that, that particular vertex here of the SMA connector. So that's a good news. I will go ahead and click here and then I will move this so that I can see the, uh, let me show you better. Um, so I will go ahead and move this right to the edge of the, the you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I have another uh, rectangular shape uh, that the snap suggests it's in the middle of the PCB board. Uh, so I will go ahead and click here and that would put this device right at the middle of that to the middle of the board. You can see it's exactly in the middle of the board. Uh, that's not enough for us. And the reason it's not enough is because now we have to shift this guy and this fellow all the way up to the board. So this uh, um, middle uh, point of the com uh, of the SMA connector be on top of the surface. So when I have some uh, uh, micro strip, it will touch the micro strip and goes right away to the uh, to the to, to the SMA to the bonfire that I have here. So I have to uh, pull this thing up, uh, and another move is required. Uh, one thing that you can do is because you already done a move, uh, you can uh, go ahead and just add some Z uh, uh, transform to the uh, to the move that you already did. But in order to know how much you have to transform that, you need to measure how much you want to bring it up. So to do that, you go on the modeler and then you go under the measure and then you select the position. And I want to make sure that the bottom of the point uh, is going to be touching the, su the, the surface of my PCB. And as you can see, the Ansoft is pretty a smart software, and you can see that there is a green uh, rectangular uh, a square showing that I'm on the bottom of the uh, the point, uh, the signal uh, path of the uh, SMA connector, and there is a dashed line, and on the top we have a, a square, empty square that shows the top of the PCB, and it says if you want to go 
uh, if you want to measure from the bottom of that to the top of the PCB, automatically the measurement, which is in the Z, is 4.67. So I'm going to put it down somewhere. 4.67 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and thank the measurement device and go ahead and find my measurement. The move, uh, I have two uh, different part on this import model and therefore you have two move and uh, two parts so one part is this middle part let me go back and you can see it so one part is this and the other part is the entire uh, device so we have two parts okay so we have two moves accordingly because I select both of them at the same time I could have uh, unite them first and then do everything together but uh, I prefer to do that so um, so now we have to move this on the Z axis for 4.67. Uh, so that means that 2.07 uh, has to be added by, sorry. Uh, it should be added by, I wonder if I say add, it will understand 4.67. 67 let's see if it does understand that yeah so it's 6.74 evaluated for okay so that is one part basically you can see that it's on the top and the other move I go ahead and say plus 4.67 millimeters uh, the unit is already millimeters, so I don't need to put millimeter in front of that. So that will become 6.74, and you can see that everything is in place nice and good. Okay? Pretty good. Yeah, it's basically touching the surface as we want it. So there we go. We have now our SMA connected into the place and uh, now the only part that we need to care about is uh, basically the uh, uh, the location of the, uh, the strip basically. Um, one thing that you can do is uh, I noticed that the board is not exactly symmetric so the middle of the board uh, which is uh, shown in this uh, which is basically in the middle here is not exactly uh, on the uh, zero, act, zero x so this line of the zero x uh, is not exactly on the board so it's not an important issue I mean um, it's just a matter of symmetry so you can go ahead and select the device that you want to work with and um, or actually in the move we can go and move it a bit. Uh, I wonder if I did already. Yeah, I gave them 0.5 millimeters of X movement. And if I remove that, it would not be anymore in the center of the board, but it would be in the center of my uh, coordinate system. So that's good. Uh, I'm kind of looking for that. So it's easier for us to do the. Uh, trace and all the things so there we go so now everything is in the middle of the coordinate system it's not you can see it's a bit tilted to left it's not in the middle of the board but it's in the middle of the coordinate system so that's that's what matters